fun-filled adventure in uh, my drunk kitchen knockoff. So we're gonna make it old-fashioned. I'm gonna show you how to make it old-fashioned. This is how I do it when I'm at home. An old-fashioned uh, is an old cocktail dating back to 1800s, mid-1800s. And it is simply consisting of rye whiskey or bourbon. We're gonna use rye today. We got bullet rye. Uh, Angostura bitters and then a sugar cube but today we're gonna be using simple syrup so we're gonna build this drink um, it's all built in the glass so we're gonna start with the whiskey um, the official IBA recipe calls for four and a half centiliters which is about one and a half ounces but we're at home I'm making it double so we're gonna make three ounces of whiskey here so three ounces of the bullet rye Recipe calls for two dashes, but we doubled it, so we're going to use four in this one. Four of bitters. And the official recipe also calls for one sugar cube that was soaked in the bitters. Now, the issue with doing it that way is the sugar cube has to get muddled, and it takes a long time to muddle a, a, a sugar cube um, and get everything incorporated. You're usually just left with sugar bits at the bottom of your drink, and it's not very homogenous. So... I'm going to use simple syrup. It's very simple to make. It's just one part sugar, one part water. Heat it up, and there you go. You got a sugar water. You can use it in your drinks. So I normally use half an ounce, but since I doubled the drink, I'm going to use an ounce. And then we're just going to incorporate it all in a very official, but it will be a good drink, I promise. So then garnish with an orange slice. It, it originally... That's not even a garnish that they made the drink with. Um, it's kind of an after thing that was done in the 30s. They also started to add a maraschino cherry, but I like the orange. And then you just express it over the top, get the oils. And you can just drop it in. Yeah, so you can put the cherry, you can put the orange, you can do both if you like. In the 90s they started muddling all this shit together. Damn mess. But don't do that. I mean, do it if you like it. Who the f am I? I don't know. What, what do I know? Old fashioned. Nice drink. Tastes delicious. You'll be beating your wife in no time. You'll be fighting a midget in no time. You'll be f***ing in the streets in no time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a steak. I got ribeyes. I'll show you how I like to make those. Probably gonna f it all up just like I did the drink, but who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Maybe you'll learn something. We're back. We're also drinking Modelo. Deal with it. I'm an equal opportunity alcoholic. I got two beautiful ribeyes here. I'm gonna show you how I like to make them. So first of all, you take them out of the refrigerator. You don't want a cold steak. Um, just for cooking purposes, it won't cook evenly. It's about 20-30 minutes. So all you have to do with these is put some damn salt on them. That's it. Don't mess with them. They don't need no marinade. They don't need any. Um... Lost my train of thought. They don't need anything. Don't fuck with them. They're delicious. Just salt them. Get some nice coarse sea salt. And slather them up. Be generous with it. So flip them. Don't feel like you're putting too much. Okay? Salt is key. Salt brings out that savory, that savory flavor that's so important. Alright, so they're nice and salted. They're ready for the business. So now you're going to get your pan, get a nice, fairly thick cast iron pan if you got it. You're going to heat it up and then we're going to throw them on. All right. It's not a very complicated process. So let it heat up while it's heating up. Grab a drink because you're parched. So the other thing you're going to need, um, get some butter and some garlic on the ready. So those are going to be important in about a minute. Once it's nice and hot, you want to add a little bit of oil. Not a lot. All right, so it's nice and it's nice and hot, starting to smoke a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add just a touch of oil, just enough to get it started. You know, get things started, get a nice crust going. 
So I use canola oil. You can use olive oil, but you got to be careful because olive oil has a very low smoke point, so it'll start to smoke really quickly. Canola oil has a much higher smoke point, so I like using canola. Damn, you guys look good. So we got our oil on. It's nice and hot. We can turn this down a little bit. Starting to smoke up a little bit. Steak numero uno. Steak on. You want to add a little bit of butter, so a smidgen of butter, and you want to add a little bit of garlic to it while it's cooking. It's going to sear on each side for about a minute, and then you want to flip it. You don't want to leave it on the whole time. A lot of people like just leaving it once, flipping it one time. That doesn't fucking matter. You want to make it even. You're going to grab some butter, and you're going to throw it in the pan. And you're going to grab some garlic, throw it in the pan. So the butter and garlic are in there, marinating, having a good old time, becoming nice and good friends. You're just gonna let it happen. Let all this magic happen. Start spooning the butter. You want to get a nice good crust on one side, then you can flip it. Don't forget your beer. It's important. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. If you don't like steak, I don't know what your problem is. If you're a vegan, I'm sorry. They're delicious. I'm an asshole probably. I know, I get it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> it's a bone-in ribeye, so... The bone, I honestly don't know what it does. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat your meat. Not your meat, God, that meat. Cow's meat, sicko. Get it going. Been there for about a minute, we're gonna flip it again. Oh yeah. Oh baby. And it is butter, so you don't want it to get too hot, it'll burn. So, keep basting it, flipping it around. It'll be delicious. I just burned my knuckle. So what you're looking for, what I'm looking for is a medium rare. Some people like it rare, I like medium rare. If you like anything less than medium, you're a fucking animal, eat the chicken, okay? I don't wanna hear it. If you like well done, eat the fucking chicken. If you're really concerned about it, take an internal temperature, use about 120, 125, what you're looking for. Well, you've been doing it for a while, you can kind of tell. So this is almost there, but not quite. Another important tip a lot of people miss. If there's a fat cap on the side, set that against the pan, start rendering that down. You want that fat in your pan, okay? It don't do you a whole lot of good when it's on your plate. I mean, you could eat it, but... It's better if it's in the pan. So sear that down. It's just going to be better flavor for you. I'm going to sear down the fat. Sear down the edge. That's about perfect. I'm going to take it off. Set it aside. Let it rest. Steaks are beautiful. They're the purest form of food. Just sear it, salt it, eat it. You don't even have to do the garlic and the butter, that's just extra. What's your name? Cannon, oh, that's a beautiful name. Ugh, don't judge me, internet. Hey! What are you doing? I don't know, I'm drunk. What's your problem? You're a f***ing alcoholic! F*** you, you're tongs! F*** you, I'm useful! I'll just leave that one in there. Let me cut. I got a steak here. Looks good. Let's try it, shall we? Before I f***ing pass out and slam my head on this granite countertop. Easy. Spread it apart, grains going this way, so you just kind of want to cut against this way. So, 
This is the way you want to go. Ooh! Nice and juicy. Oh, that looks, that looks delicious. Mmm. <coughs> mmm. Damn. Oh! That's one of the best steaks I ever made. It's pretty good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, Instagram, in the description. I need a moment, okay? Don't look. Don't look, you f***ing perverts. Don't look. I will find you.